Do you like anime? Do you like stickers? If the answer to either of those questions were yes, or you're just an otaku like me, go check out sukawaii.com. Here, you can look at all of these beautiful stickers and other anime merch and accessories. They've got My Hero Academia. They've got Seven Deadly Sins. They've got Jujutsu Kaisen. They've even got little cuties like this. Who is that? I don't know, but I'm buying them. I bought some myself and they're amazing and adorable. Here, look, using the link in the description below, use promo code BIZARRE5 for 5% off of your purchase. That's promo code BIZARRE5 for 5% off of your purchase. I mean seriously, look how cute! Monster, an Attack on Titan X Mute Reader fanfic by Mocha Maki. Chapter 21. Ah! Hanjay's screams and cries interrupted the entire area. A large crowd of scouts, some being the military police, gathered around the evaporating titans. Since Hanje was the only one who was upset about this, some scouts found it amusing that she would be reacting like this. Shawnee! Bean! Hanje screamed once more. Uh, how did this happen? Aaron asked quietly. Let's leave that for the military police to solve. Levi replied, like they're going to do anything. I stared at Hanjay's upset form for a few moments before letting go of Aaron's hand and running toward her direction. Well, wait, your name! Aaron called out. I pushed through the sea of people and even passed the guards blocking anyone from coming closer. They called after me, but I ignored them. I gently put a hand on Hanjay's shoulder and she turned to me with a teary eye. I sniffed the air. She reeked of grief and sadness. I gave her a sad look and wrapped my arms around her. She broke into sobs and hugged me tightly. Her face was buried in my shoulder, causing me to feel her hot tears on my jacket, but I didn't care. <laughs> Thank you. Your name. She managed to say. As we hugged, a strong smell reeked my nose, causing me to tense up. My eyes slightly widened and I felt a sudden anger rise within me. This smell. It was familiar. I smelled this scent before. I never forgot it. It brought rage and tension every time it hit my nose. But who did it belong to? Your name. What's wrong? You're squeezing me pretty tight, Hanje asked weakly. I immediately loosened my grip and tried to pull away from the hog, but Hanje didn't let go. I mentally sighed. This might take a while. Time skip. After the whole Titan murder fiasco, we made it back to the castle. We were at the training grounds, and I watched from afar as Aaron tried bonding with our other squad mates. He found it hard, either because he was a Titan shifter, or because he was a kid like me. I decided to revert my attention to Captain Levi, who was watching his squad from a distance like me. I began to think back to what he said when we were cleaning the castle. He told me he was sorry, but for what? Hello, everyone! Hanjay called out as she walked towards us. I flinched back. How did she change mood so quick? She was a sobbing, screaming mess a few minutes ago, and now she was back to her normal self? Talk about mood swings. Uh, ah, Section Commander Hanjay! Aaron said. He was just as surprised as I was. Uh, um, how are you feeling? Just fine, my dear boy. Although the events that happened earlier still left me in a grieving state, I've decided to take my mind off of it with a little experiment today. I sniffed the air. Everyone's attitude has changed dramatically. I've decided I wanted to run a little research on your name's behavior. Everyone's eyes grew wide, except Captain Levi. Well, what? Aaron asked. But, but Hanje, I, I don't think that's a good idea. Petra exclaimed. I didn't know if they actually felt concern over me or if they were just terrified of what I might do. Don't worry, it's harmless. I just wanted to see something so I could further research. But I need another person for this experiment, so I picked Shorty, she said, pointing to Levi. I flinched again. Did she really just call him that? <sniffs> Levi turned his head away. What? She got away with it as well? What's this for, Four Eyes? Four eyes? Huh? Why do you call her that? She doesn't have four eyes. Wait, could it be the glasses? 
Hanjay just smiled it off. We both heard that your name's fighting skills are excellent and she was able to defeat Shadis back when she was a trainer scout. But I don't know exactly how strong she is. So I decided to let her fight against humanity's strongest to see how powerful she really is. Who knows, she might have inhuman strength. That's something that's worth the research. Her eyes dazzled. Levi clicked his tongue once more and looked towards me, making my heart stop for a moment. You're all for it, your name. I nervously glanced between Hanjay and my squad mates. I wasn't so sure about this. If he's humanity's strongest, then he might be a much harder opponent to beat. He's as strong as a whole army of soldiers. I can't go against that. I then remembered back to what happened at court. I was able to pin him down at the time and he didn't even have the strength to push me off of him. Maybe I do have a chance. I hummed as loud as I could, but it was barely above a whisper because of my weak vocal cords and nodded my head giving off my most determined face, which caused my cheeks to puff out a bit. Hanjay squealed loudly as I got into my fighting stance. Levi's blink eyes stared boredly into my skull, making me instantly regret my decision. I mentally took deep breaths and began to close my eyes. Breathing was a key to total concentration. Once I was calm, I let my concentration kick in. Total concentration, I thought. I sniffed the air, trying to track his location. I then saw the shape of Levi's figure in my dark vision. He was still right in front of me. He didn't even move from his spot. Suddenly, I felt a change in movement. He was moving, but where? I lost track of his scent. I began to panic, affecting my concentration. I heard fast footsteps coming behind me. I quickly moved back, just in time to see Levi's figure throwing a punch where I was once standing. He's fast. I'm sure he'll be able to keep up with me if I try to tire him out by running. I have to think of something, but for right now, I won't lose concentration. Levi moved fast again. I could smell his scent coming near. He tried to deliver a blow to my head, but I was able to dodge and kick him, sending him back a few feet away. He recovered quickly and went to attack again, this time trying to kick me by moving to the side. He has pretty fast attacks, but can he block? This time, I tried to punch him, but he ended up blocking. Alright, so he is good at blocking. He might be good at dodging as well. To top it off, he has pretty fast movements. So how can I beat him? I could try tiring him out. I continued to dodge his attacks. Although he seemed calm, I could smell his frustration. Good. He was falling into my trap. I apparently made him too frustrated because he was able to throw a punch at me, sending me back a bit. While being punched, something burst inside of me. A new feeling of rage. I quickly recovered by shaking my head. I was able to sort of beat him once. I could do it again. Levi took the time to throw a punch, but I ended up catching it. This surprised him a bit, but he quickly tried to kick me from below. I cut onto this and threw him back, messing up his kick. As he was being thrown to the side, I gave him a harsh kick to the stomach, making him land on the ground harshly. He coughed and tried to get back up, but his heavy body refused and he laid back down. His breaths were harsh. Total concentration off, I thought. I opened my eyes to find Levi on the ground. My eyes widened. I did it? I did it! You did it! Hanjay yelled while engulfing me in a hug. As Hanjay squirmed in the hug, barely able to contain her excitement, she bounced a bit, pulled away for a second, and went back into hugging me again. Nice work, your name! Aaron congratulated me. Amazing, your name! You're amazing! Hanjay let out a few giggles. I felt myself smiling under my muzzle as I let out a breath of relief, but that smile soon faded once I saw Levi got up and walk away in silence. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Monster. If you made it this far in the video, thank you. Please like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and make sure to share this video with all your weeby friends. Anyways, my name is Bazaar, and I'll see you weebs in the next video. Cue the outro.